Introducing the man, the myth, the legend, Barry the Bandit. Light on vigor, big on heart, bearers a master of stealth, lethal with a bow, a knife, sharp sticks, and even harsh language. For this series, we're going to focus on arcane and dexterity as our primary damage dealing stats, with a heavier focus on arcane as we head into the late game. Throughout the playthrough, we shall be covering a wide variety of weapons with an emphasis on the aforementioned damage dealing stats, as well as taking advantage of the dragon community incantations to add support damage. My name is Nubbudgy. This is Barry. Welcome to how to build a bandit hello everybody welcome back to Eldarine shadow of the earth tree so today we're actually going to do something a little bit different we're actually going to head back to the lands between because we have some unfinished business so the subject of today's video is lady tennis dirty work and rykard's ruin um so we're going to pick up our final great ruin and we're also going to clean up some assassination quests and our bid to prepare to burn the earth tree so a couple of things i want to mention um at the time of this recording i am actually head of the uh Shadow of the Earth Tree walked through by a couple of episodes. So any runes we acquire this episode, including the ones we have on our person now, I am actually going to spend on um, smithing materials because there's a few other weapons I want to test out. Um, and it means that when you pick up the Shadow of the Earth Tree walkthrough again, uh, I'm not going to have any extra runes or levels on any of you or myself for that matter. First things first, we're going to jump to the main map. We're going to head to um, Volcano Manor. Now we have one quest up already but i want to speak to uh lady tanis and um banal recruits and banal just to make sure we don't we haven't missed anything before we get moving this should be pretty straightforward quite honestly uh so now you are an i am yep. pleased okay so that's a no let's speak to banal quickly no it should be through here Hello, my friend. You're still alive, I see. I am. You've come to understand now, eh? I have. To take power and make it a recusant must hunt his own kind. Yes. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging. Quite true. We recusants must become the most wretched of predators. Yes. All you can do is laugh. I'm not sure I buy into the ideology, but I'll do what has to be done. Okay, what I'm also going to do is buy everything he's got, because at some point we are going to have to kill him. Not this video, but eventually. Um, I think, believe we take him on in the Crumbling Farm uh, which will be in a couple of videos' time, I believe. Uh, so we'll just buy everything he's got for that eventuality. I think we get his bell bearing anyway, but just in case. Well, at the end of the day, we've got a ton of room to spend. It's okay. So what we want to do is go... Th through our inventory and just read through all the letters that we've got to make sure we haven't missed anything so if we go here yeah oh, this is the patches so he's he gives the great horn he gives yeah that's right he gives us a mission to hunt great horned tregoth he could find the ruins through precipice find the remote yeah that that's fine didn't mean to do that run of the idol in the altar's plateau All right, so let's, uh, here we go. We'll go deal with this one first. So this is actually in the Mag Magma Maker's Lair, which actually, he, the Magma Worm was guarding the entrance to the ruins from Precipice for way back when. That's a, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was, it was a few months ago, wasn't it? So the summoning sign is there. But before we do that, there's a bit of preparation we have to do. Now, our primary weapon is going to be the Regal of Shade. We, got, well, we want to drop our carry weight down because when we go, when we invade, we don't get the act. Uh, the Godric's Great Room doesn't work. So our carry weight is going to be humongous. So this doesn't weigh anything. We'll, we can keep these two. And basically, uh, with invaders, they run into Shade's dancing place. That's the easiest way to deal with that. Okay, now the other thing we want to do is I'm actually going to switch our flasks out so we've got more red than blue because they get cut in half so the amount available gets cut in half when we get inside and we don't want to deal with that okay because that would be that would be bad so let's go down to flasks allocate we're going to pop now we're going to go more or less yeah that's a better split for what we want to do Next, uh, so look at incantations. Is there anything else I want to bring? Typically speaking, you don't really get a chance. I'm just curious what else we have. That wouldn't hurt. 
I don't think anything else is gonna really do any do any good at the moment, is it? No. No oh, fuck it, that'll be fine. So oh. if you're wondering why if you're thinking I sound very nasally, that you're absolutely right, I'm full of hay fever at the moment. I take some tablets, but for all the good they do, it's absolutely the pollen count in the UK is absolutely horrific at the moment. <coughs> I can barely breathe, but I wanna get this I wanted to get this elderly done. I wanna get back to the DLC. So I'm going to get these things done first. We don't have to, but I want access to all of our smithing materials so we can upgrade our weapons to full. And I also want to activate all the great runes so we can use any of them we want. Because there's with the new weapons we're finding, there's some interesting um, options available. So, in fact, speaking of, we're also going to pick up a couple of Ashes of War at the end of the video. So, this guy is a bit special. He's going to fire arrows at you. Get out of the way. Let him come. He's got too much poise. Right, let him do his thing. Fuck me, it's hard. Oh no. What, doesn't that block? No, obviously not. Yeah, that's how she got the first time. We've got enough to kill him with more or less in one go. Problem is, we get another rune arc, fell calling finger everything. The problem is, he basically wears a, um, he's got the Bull Goat's armor set, which we're going to have now. And this has incredible poise. It's also heavy as fuck. But I thought it might come in handy for the DLC if you want to switch our build out a bit, so... This stuff, yeah, just the armor on its own has 61 points, but the carry weight is immense. We could probably carry all of it if we kept down to one weapon, but you know me, I like a few. Oh, I'm so sick of Red Bull, see that helps. Okay, next on our agenda. We're going to head to the Old Altar Tunnel, and then we're going to go to take out Riley. Oh, apologies, I sound terrible. Right, now, don't run down this or you'll die. I uh, found out the hard way last week in my practice run. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Do we get many runes, Kinemus? No, you don't get a lot of runes through agents. So we're going to head up. We're going to select our fast good one in physics. Next guy's not too bad. None of them are. We, we are so over leveled for these dudes. It's actually pretty straightforward. In fact, in my practice run at least, I had the easiest fight ever with Hoslow. Um, but we'll get to that in a bit. Wait, eight minutes. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. It really is not that difficult. Ugh. In my dream, I can breathe. Right. <laughs> so let's, let's get ready to rumble. This guy also fires crossbow bolts, so keep that in mind. You kind of want to pop your flask on the physic and then get your shield up ASAP. Let him come to us. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Is he coming? No. Yeah. Eat shit and die, man, of me. Boom. Another runuck. Oh, we should get a new talisman as well. Oh. This is the Creeper's Vials. What does this do? Uh, the Black Heap Bolts are less relevant, by the way. So if we jump to our equipment, check out a new talisman. This essentially uh, eliminates the sound made by the way of Dream Movement. So if you wanted. Let's think about it. So if you wanted to be more of a sneak attack build, which we could do with that dagger, we got the miser record, we could level that up. It's got good critical strikes, or we could use the backhand blade. Or any dagger build really. And you can be silent, and then you can obviously Um use something like the ritual sword talisman and I mean you can go you can go full light armor and just basically boost your damage to the absolute obscenity and then just get one shot critical build. 
something we might do, it'd fit Barry definitely. There might be some areas of the game that'll be poignant. I'm actually gonna have a think about that. I'll probably play between videos. I'll certainly see how it goes in the DLC. We're not quite strong enough in the DLC yet to one shot anything though, unfortunately. I think we're only level well we can't check our boulder uh boulder can Skedacruz Skidoo trees blessing bless blessing, yeah. We can't check the blessing just yet. We've done the due course. Let's head back to the manor and speak to everybody that we need to. So we're going to go speak to Patches. He's just here. Hey, dude. Hello again. Hello. Welcome to Patches in How are we doing? There he is. The request is done. You hunted down Tragoff? I did. Are you certain? Yes. No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Okay. Have some rest by all means. I will do. Okay. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? No. I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I yeah. thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Yeah. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. Right. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. Yeah. I've never seen a woman quite like her. She is certainly a weird one. Has he got anything we want to purchase? No, not really. Uh, I'm going to take the stone sword key. But you know what? I'll take these stuff. With the parent dagger. We're just spending our runes. As I said, we don't really need them, so we might as well just burn through them. Now, next on our agenda is. I hear is your usual. Serve bone blood. Of the true, the erd true, but it was all the tarnished yep. were forced to scavenge like the shard bearers, vying for power in the wake of the shatter. Yeah. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the erd tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. <laughs> Okay. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. All right. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> right, I'm guessing... She gives if you the... follow the... It oh, cannot... okay. I'm guessing that, um... It just kills all the other champions that have tried, so we must be the first to succeed. So we go. A red letter. We also get. Look at you! I knew you had it in you. Take this. A special invitation. Yeah. To hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. We will. All right. Cool. So we're going to read those letters. Uh no. Stuna Hoslow in the Mount Stops of the Giants. Uh, giants. Uh, who's the other one? And this is in the Lone Capital. So we'll deal with those in due course. Let's. Uh, I'm not really interested in her quest line. We could share to do that, but um, there's nothing really for us to gain from it. So I'm going to give it a miss. Um, maybe on the maybe on NG Plus, huh? So, our next target is here. So, we're going to go to the West Capital Rampart. Like so. Uh, and then we want to head this way. No, we don't. We want to head this way. So, what we're going to do is a bit sketchy, but it's going to be alright. We're going to drop... We're, we're not going to do that. That's not what I intended to do at all. We're going to drop down here. Oh, shit. No, we're not. Okay. Well, there goes one of the rune arcs we just acquired. <laughs> we should get another couple, though. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. That could have gone better, couldn't it, not by? Certainly could. Well done. Well played. Well played, sir. That's one way to get rid of our rune situation, I suppose. So let's... Um, yeah. Let's so back down to one, uh, 
no net gain. That's a that's a result. Well played. Well played. This should be fine now. We can drop down here. Yeah. That works so better. I want. To Double check something over down here. Nope, not there. It's not there, is it? No, I'm gonna have to think about this. Um, I didn't pick up runes, yeah. I just. Oh, let me double check. Come on, I don't think we picked up Lionel's set yet, have we? I'm trying to think of all the loose sands we need to tie up before we actually burn the other tree. Because all of this stuff becomes irrelevant then. No, we haven't got it. We haven't got it. All right, we're gonna pick up that and a couple of other things. Oh, it just fell to my death. That was so stupid. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna run and pick up another set of armor here, which I've oddly enough forgot about before. So Alban Eric's pointed hat, Alban Eric's Alban Eric's robe. It's a very light armor, but we would look very regal, which is something to be said for that, right? Let's uh, get ready to the rumble. There are two of these guys, but we do have Banal to help us, and he will do most of the work, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right, so we're going to let him get involved. His weapon looks cool. I want it. Um, Dude, get fucked. Okay. That was anyway, anyway, anything but clean, but we got it done. <laughs> All right. These went a lot more smoothly in my practice run. I'm going to put it, put that out there. But uh, fuck it. A win is a win. A win is a win. Uh, so we get the raging wolf, found raging wolf armor, raging wolf gauntlets, raging wolf greaves. This stuff looks pretty cool. It's a bit light, but it would. Uh, if we look at it. It will suit us quite well. Obviously, it has no fuck all poise, but um, it's not bad armor. But we're gonna give that a miss. This is the bulgo stuff. This stuff looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's fat. All right. Anyway, we we'll go back to what we were wearing because reasons. Where's the other one? Sanguine Noble. That is very berry, but obviously the poise is fucking abysmal. But if we use the great shield, we can make that work. Anyhow, let's stop fucking about now, but let's stop fucking about. Let's get the crucible tree armor on. Now, next stop, mountain tops of the giant. So let's go. Uh, we're actually going to return to the capital at the end. But before we do that, we're going to head to, as I said, uh... Yeah, so we want to head to the Ancient Snow Valley Ruins, like so. We're going to deal with Hoslo. Okay. We're going to pick up some materials while we're up here. Did we get any rune arts? No. Bollocks. I hope we get one for Hoslo. I can't remember. 
has been a bit. Uh, just ignore everybody. We don't want to get in any fights until we have to. Okay. Sphere to the left. Keep heading this way. Ignore the uh, demi humans. One, they'll, they'll get annoyed when we run past them, but they will get embroiled in fights with the bats here, as you can see. So don't stress too much about them. Now, to be quite honest, fuck them, you know, fuck them. I pick up this so. See you, boys. So this is Hoslo. Deal with him now. I'll deal with you now. Get fuck. Oh, that's not a great start, I'll be honest with you, but it is what it is. Let's go invade Hoslo. So he has like a quick step evade thing, so he doesn't you don't often get the full charge of your weapon on him, but do what we can. So let's Okay, here he comes. Yeah, fuck, son. All right, we get Runok for that, so we have made a bit of profit, at least. Um, now we should get Hoslo's whip, and I believe we get Hoslo's armor set as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I would argue his armor looks pretty good, but we're gonna get out of here before we have a look. So, before we do anything else, what I actually want to do is place a map marker here. And we're going to fast travel. In fact, no, we want one there. And there. I'm going to jump here. Do this first. Okay. What the running in the wrong direction because of course I am my sense of direction is uh terrible in, uh, no no both in real life and uh, in a game so it is what it is um what I mentioned before I'm the kind of guy that will just keep I think it's a man thing I'll keep walking in the wrong direction just to prove it's the wrong direction much like we did this there so <laughs> uh, let's get ah First thing we want to do is get our spear. Uh, not that we want partisan for this bit. There's a couple of dudes to fight. We'll ignore them. And this thing here, we're gonna kill this. But he, we gotta kind of get the other side here, and you don't want to get too close, so it disappears, which is annoying. That should be fine. Actually, we'll golden parry. That'll come in handy later. It's basically it's very very similar to uh, carry retaliation. It'll come in handy for certain fights. Um, and the other thing we want to do is a bit risky. I don't know if we can do it this from this side. There is a spirit spring down here, but typically when we jump, I, I fall to my death, which is. I'm going to say it's less than ideal, um, so we might have to go down the hard way. So I don't know if that Spirit Spring works or, or I don't know if we'll be able to make it work from here. Feels like we won't make it, so actually I'm going to check it out. We'll go down the long way. Yeah, that just feels like we'll die. This way I know work for certain. So I did in my practice. Oh. Fucking sniffles. How are we doing? 25 minutes. Right. There you go. 
That was weird. We've got one more Ash of War to pick up, as I said, and then um, we'll go deal with. We'll go speak to Tanith. And then we'll go take on Rikard. Lord of Blasphemy. Who at this point will be a pretty trivial fight. Even if we don't bother to level up the Serpent Spear, it should be a piece of cake. I'm going to pick up a few mushrooms because we're actually a bit short. Um, let's get the sword ready. We want to head this way. This thing is kind of one of the invisible teardrop scarabs that does a big, large figure of eight. She's going to come back through this way. Just kind of wait around here because there are slugs behind us that will start attacking in due course. So if we're lucky, we'll get him straight up. And then we can just get on with our lives. Which way does he come? Bollocks! Alright. Okay. In that case, we need to stand here. There we go. Just pray for strike. So this will go very nicely with our Black Steel Great Hammer. That already has holy damage anyway, but we could theoretically attach it to that. But what I'm going to do now uh, is head to Volcano Manor. Let's take a drink. Like so. Let's speak to everybody we have to. Speak to Banal first. We're doing for We've got a few. I'm going to give her a miss. Her quest line is not really relevant ah. to us. I had hoped you'd soon return. Well, thanks. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Okay. Take it. It's yours by right. Jamar's Fury. I believe it's a sorcery, unless I'm not mistaken. Let us tread the path of virtues until we let's. reach the miserable death that awaits us. You're still. A okay. Yep. Well. Is it, is it an Ash of War? I always forget. Let's look at inventory. No, it's a, yeah, it's a sorcery. So we don't need that. But. It is what it is. Now, if we go. Um, I just forgot. We have. Speaking of sorceries. I kept these in because they require faith. I believe we can cast them with the Prince of Death stuff or the Abenoric stuff. I'll be interested to see about that. Anywho. Let's go see Tanith. And thus, actually, we want to... Oh, that dude's gone. Oh, poo. Alright, well, it should be fine. I hope it's fine. We'll speak to Tanith and we'll go see the Lord of Blasphemy. I see that you've stayed the path of champions. I have. This is your usual reward. Okay. Please, take it. Let's take his cameo. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our Lord? Yes. Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit treading the path of champions. Yeah. I think they expect me to die, but we'll yes. prove that wrong. As it should be. Yes. Now, close your eyes for a moment. Okay. I will transport you to the Lord's chamber. Okay then. Farewell then. Farewell, Lady May your visit be fruitful. I hope so. I hope so. So this should be pretty straightforward. And we're going to get the side of grace. Uh, weapons wise. Get rid of that. We don't need any. Actually, no. Nah, I will. We'll keep that. And we should get a new weapon the moment we get in. Don't approach Rikard just yet, he's there. 
I'm just gonna pick up this. Now, if you wanted to, you could die or use a grace maybe We can go back and go level it up. But honestly, we don't need to level it up. We'll be just fine as we are. I'm pushing heavy loads. That means we'll get rid of that. Okay. Now, what I would suggest you do is use that. And we're going to pop this. We're also going to pop Flame Gravity Strength. And now we're going to summon Mimic. I just realised we might not have enough blueies, but uh, <laughs> if Mimic's using the spear as well, we should be right. What we already do is two-hand it. So press Y and then press shoulder button, right shoulder button. Uh, we're just going to go in for the attack. He does do all sorts of horrible things to you, so be careful. Watch out for his lunges, is what I would say. And, and the uh, lava. Watch out for the lava. No. No. Ow. I could have gone better, couldn't it? Attention, all oh, that is <laughs> just ragdolls us. All right, oh. my timing is just not there. Okay, okay, well, oh, we'll get him. Where is he? Guess I'm a tit. Missed me that time, didn't you? Fuck face. Alright. Right, so now we get animation and he becomes his second form. Which is less fun than the first form, honestly. This is one of the best weapons in the game if you're strength based, but we use it extensively in the profit build. This thing just fucking wrecks things. Including us, actually. Okay. Join myself and King as family. Together we will devour the very god. Alright, you're crazy, just so you know. In my personal belief. So now he is more aggressive and worse than he was now. His sword attack is pretty lethal as well, so keep that in mind. Okay. Stuttering charge. No. No.
just concentrate for a bit. Stay with it. Excellent. We've got the job done. And now we have right cards and great rune, which is awesome. Yep. And we can also get the blasphemous blade if we so choose. And we also get a shit ton of runes. But as I said, can you shut the fuck up, dude? I'm talking. As I said, what I'm not gonna. Enough. Enough with your sadistic laughter. Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, I so said what I'm not going to do is spend these runes to level up. I'm just going to buy smithing materials so we can hit the ground running upgrading. Well, there's a lot I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade this and this as far as we can. The whip I just can fuck right off. But I also want to upgrade probably the Red Man Great Shield. So we've got a... Because this is an okay... I mean, the Gilded Great Shield is great, but we don't have enough strength for that. But we could get this up and running. I mean, this is good for holy. No, that one's good for holy. We could get this up. It's got decent guard boost. Not as good as the Guild of Great Shield, but this will. If we level it up, we can use that as a kind of proper shield to deal with certain enemies in the DLC, is what I'm thinking. So let's get this side of Grace. Now, you can come back and speak to Tanith, and she's kind of eating the remains of. Of, of Ricard and you have to take on uh, Crucible Knight Guardian but I don't want to do that because he's hard as fuck and honestly it's not worth it so not for us so what are we going to do we can always do it later if we really so choose what I want to do now in fact I'll do it between videos is I'm going to buy a ton of runes if you want to level up by all means level up I'm just thinking of the walkthrough so it keeps it all on the same page if that makes sense if you don't want to do that don't do it just um, level up, catch you whatever you got. I mean, we're currently rolling at 154, which is pretty good because we haven't really barely touched the DLC. So we're going to be pretty high level. By the time we actually do take on the Elder Beast, we're going to be very fucking high level. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye now.